In this video, I will show you how to quickly import a Swagger document in order to proxy an existing API in the Akana platform. The Akana platform supports importing of Swagger, RAML, WSDL, and Waddle. We will be importing a Swagger document from my file system. Let's begin by selecting the Swagger document and then click Save. This will import the document into the Akana system. Once imported, I can view the Swagger documentation. I can see all of the resources and actions that were described in the Swagger document and all of the details that go with it. Let's take a look at post accounts. Here you can see a description that it creates a new account and it provides an example of what a request body looks like. You can also see the schema and any required headers. I can continue to design and edit my API by clicking on Edit. What you see here is a full API designer. You can visually design your APIs. If you want to see what it looks like in Swagger, you can click on the Swagger tab. The API designer will produce Swagger, RAML, WSDL, or Waddle. You do not need to be an expert in any of these description languages. We take care of that for you so that you can focus on the design of your API. With the API Designer, I can delete, modify, or add additional resources. To add additional resources, I can click on the Add Resources button. Here I can specify my resource with path parameters and then select the HTTP verbs I would like to make available. When I am done, I click Finish. With the API Designer, I can further specify my resource and add documentation. I can add additional parameters such as queries, headers, or the body of the message. I can specify the response status codes and the data types. In the API Designer, I can specify and work with my models. I can add new models and edit existing models. Finally, I save all of the changes I have made to the interface and to the documentation. All of the changes will take effect in the Akana platform. This section of the details page shows the implementations. You may have a live or production implementation along with a sandbox implementation. I can export the Swagger, RAML, WSDL, or Waddle for each implementation. Now let's take a look at the live implementation and add an auditing policy. I'll click on the live link. On the screen you will find all of the information about an implementation and have the ability to edit it. For example, the pattern used for this API is proxy. We can edit the target endpoint by clicking on this link. We can specify if we allow anonymous access to the API or not. We can also specify if we require an approval before gaining access to this API. I can further choose where I want my implementation deployed. I currently have specified three global locations. Now let's put a detailed auditing policy on this API. Click Edit. Here you will see a list of policies that have been made available to me to select from. I can select from Operational, Compliance, and Service Level Policies. Akana has the largest out-of-the-box configurable policy library. You can configure which policies you would like to make available to your API owners and only show those in this list. I'm going to select the Detailed Auditing Policy. I will click Attach. The Detailed Auditing Policy has now moved to the Attach Policies column. I will click Save. Now back on the Live Implementation screen, I can see my attached policy. Let's return to the Implementations view by clicking on the Go Back to Implementations. This screen lists the implementations I have available. For this implementation, I only have the Live or Production endpoint available. 
I can add a sandbox implementation or endpoint by clicking on the Add button. Now let's take a look at the documentation our consumers will see and try out our API. Click on Documents. What our consumers are going to see is a Swagger style documentation with an embedded test client. Currently, our API is available anonymously. We do not need to pass any app key or credentials to invoke this API. However, if we did need to configure security, our test client takes care of that for you. You can click on the security button and it'll walk you through a wizard. We will demonstrate that in another video. Now let's test our API anonymously. We are currently looking at the account resources get action. This resource lists all accounts. This is a simple resource with only one optional query parameter of the last name. I will specify the last name of Olson so that we retrieve the accounts with the last name Olson. If we need to add any additional parameters or headers, I simply click on these two buttons to add it. Let's click on Invoke. We have the ability to inspect both the request and response messages. Here you see the response. Now earlier we added the detailed auditing policy in order to capture more information about the API. I am going to invoke a few more times in order to see a larger pool of data when we visit the monitoring capability. Now let's take a look at the monitoring page. The graphs you are seeing tell you what your throughput, average latency, and faults per second you are experiencing right now. As you can see, it adjusted while I was just talking. It is currently set to per second, but you can change it to per minute. You can also change which implementation you're viewing. Currently, we are viewing the live implementation. If we had a sandbox implementation, we could see how well that was performing. We do not have any apps subscribed to this API since we made it available anonymously. Next, let's take a look at the logs. On the logs page, you can see all of the API transactions and can inspect individual transactions. I can inspect the request and the response as it flows through the API gateway. Let's take a look at the response. I can see the body that was returned. I can see the headers and additional information about the response. And this ends our short video for how you can import a Swagger document and quickly proxy an API through the Akana API management platform.